All right, what's up, gents uh, and ladies? We actually have a 0.03% uh, uh, female watching the channel, so appreciate all you fellow dirtbags, uh, dirtbag nation. This is the second video of a account takeover, number seven. It, we just it goes by so fast. We're already up to 805 subscribers as of right now in this video. The goal, obviously, is to get up to a thousand, be sponsored by Playroom. Play the game uh, essentially for free at that point, but I'm super excited because I uh, couldn't have done it without you guys. So this uh, first part, if you haven't watched it, go check that out. Uh, this part is going to be morely, morely, uh, mainly based off of Clan Boss. So first one was PvP. Uh, this guy, uh, Sir Roy, who is in our Dirtbag channel, our Discord channel, he went in PvP from Silver 2 all the way up to Gold 1 in one day. <laughs> uh we changed up his team this is now his current team uh super fun awesome team uh he's got so many nukers but today's video i uh, saved up some more silver we kind of used all 14 million of his silver in the first video but this video we're going to see who we can make to set up a future great clan boss team now already he already has a bunch of champions that are already like good for the clan boss so it makes things a lot easier like he already leveled up uh our skull crusher Sorry for the dog. Skull Crusher, it's level 60, so once he gets him ascended, good to go. We're going to take off this Relentless gear <laughs> and put on some Lifesteal set if we got it. Uh, but the whole goal is to create a team for him to work towards. Uh, so watching this video, you're going to see what we do, what we're aiming for, and kind of hopefully it helps you guys out on how to pick specific champions and hopefully set up a good clan boss team that's going to help you out uh, in the future. All right, so first we have to pick which champs we're aiming for. So we need five champions. Let's see if he actually has any clan boss keys we can make uh, make some teams. All right, so we bought four keys. <laughs> awesome. Uh, and I think we're going to be working towards... He, he needs to find new new clan because obviously his clan doesn't do anything. But I think we were working towards Brutal or Nightmare. Real quick, let me let me ask him what, what we're working towards. And that really de determines on what speed we're aiming for. All right, it's funny because we're actually like talking in chat live and trying to see what he wants to aim for. He said Nightmare if we can, <laughs> if that's possible. So the goal for Nightmare is 170 uh, speed. Ultra Nightmare would be 190 speed. So we're going to go for the 107 speed build and see if we can get the gear that we're looking for to kind of start that. Now a lot has to do it with uh, the uh, banner because the banner is the only other way we can get speed on the people. So first I, I guess we'll gear our slowest champion first which is going to be our skull crusher and if we can get 170 speed we'll go for it if we can't we're probably going to, have to go with the brutal build all right so let's uh first we're going to pick skull crusher so he's going to be our first one our next person lead is probably going to be our sepulcher sentinel um we're going to test out this chick i've never used it before right here uh she has attacks one enemy uh, has a 40% chance of increasing the duration of three random debuffs, so that's awesome. Uh, on the target by one turn, so that's three attacks, three chances to increase, like it's it's, it's awesome. Uh, this one, attacks one enemy has a 75% chance of, of uh, placing a 50% decrease attack, so you're almost always going to have the decrease attack on the clan boss. This is on a five turn cooldown, we can get it down to a three turn if, if she actually does well for us. Also heals, which is awesome. All allies by 15% of this champion's max HP. The heal increased by 2% for each poison debuff on the target. That is awesome. So this champion's max HP. So if we get her HP up like super high, she's just support type champion. She's going to be healing for a lot. I mean, it's every five turns, but still. Then attacks one enemy has a 75% chance of placing three 5% poison debuffs uh, and 25% poison sensitivity debuff for three turns. So... She can be a poisoner, which I'm sure she does a lot of damage. Um, she can heal, and also she can extend uh, debuffs, which is sick. So we're actually going to test her out. Uh, again, this is a future build for the clan boss team. All right, so she is a level 50 at 95 speed. So I'm going to test her out. So and then obviously Rosin, we we got to throw Rosin in there. So we got Skull Crusher. That's one Rosin for two. Uh, her for three, and then Sepulcher Sentinel as our lead. For four now he is a defensive lead uh, i'm not sure if we're going to need it because yeah we're probably gonna need it she's gonna decrease attack she's fully booked out so yeah we'll, we'll probably use her as the lead and then we need one more which could be the cleanser so we can do doom priest or we can do mausoleum mage now he has some books i'm pretty sure 
that we can scale this guy out. So it's an option on if we're going to do the Mausoleum Mage, which can heal, but Doom Priest also can heal every turn, plus she uh, can strip the buffs, and she's good in all the affinities. I started using Doom Priest on the green affinity clan boss because you don't need two buffers or debuffers or cleansers or whatever, you just need Doom Priest and you're good to go. So we, we kind of tried that out. So that, that's really good. So we'll probably go with Doom Priest. Let's see if she has Masters, no. Uh, but also Frozen Banshee. So if we didn't want to do her, we can just replace her with Frozen Banshee. All right, but we're gonna test her out because I think she, she looks really cool. Let's see her ratings on the clan boss. Yeah, 4.8 on the clan boss, super exciting. And then that should be our team. All right, and that's actually a really solid team to start off. So I guess we are going to start with the this guy and we'll be right back. Okay, so getting to 170 speed was a lot easier than I thought. So here's the game plan. Uh, you wanna be, if the clan boss is 170 speed, you wanna be 170 speed or 171 speed. Uh, we just barely got above 170. One. So we're at 173. So he has to be the slowest in your clan boss team so way everybody gets the counter attack. So every single person that we're doing next has to be 174 or higher. All right. So that's kind of be the that's gonna be the goal. All these stats are gonna increase. Uh, let me show you what we did. So we got 40 speed boots. Um, you don't want to increase accuracy on this guy at all. So any accuracy thing we try to keep away from the accuracy. Don't glyph out the accuracy, all right? We don't want accuracy at all on this guy. So you can increase everything else though. Attack you don't really need. This is gonna be a lot higher, so it's gonna go up to 50%. Uh, plus we're gonna glyph out all the HP. This is gonna be up to 50%, so this is gonna be faster. Um, don't glyph out the speed on this guy because he's set where he is. This is gonna be a lot more. We got 17 uh, HP there with 5% defense. So this is a really good uh, helmet. And then we got a really good speed roll here. We can lower this to like 11 if we if we had a 11 speed um, shield that we could throw on this guy. Like we can try and glyph that out, but it's got accuracy. Yeah, not a lot of speed. Eight, nine, that could be that could be used. Yeah, okay. So, but for now, we're gonna keep it. Uh, so all these stats are gonna be increased. So once they're increased, this guy is gonna be set. So that's our first guy. So we got that guy set. Uh, the masteries, just just take a look at our skull crusher uh, build on our on our account. You'll see the masteries you want to aim for. Um, you don't want any turn meter boost for the clan boss, so make sure you don't click any of those. And skills, he got this down to three turns. That's all you need. Perfect. So this guy is done. One down. Next uh, is going to be probably our Rosin, because we want him to do damage. We want him to have accuracy. Having a banner is definitely going to help out, uh, and having some uh, of this is going to help out as well. So we're going to we're going to see if we can have some really good life steal set on Rosin, but he's going to be the next guy we're going to gear out. All right, so first one down. Let's get into the next guy. All right, so Rosin. Now these are the total stats. We got him up to 178 speed, 95% uh, crit rate with Rosin. You want him to do a lot of damage. My Rosin does between 10 to 12 million damage on the Ultra Nightmare. Uh, he obviously has a lot more crit damage, um, but right now we're going to get a lot more defense, HP, and crit damage when it comes to the ring. Right now we have an attack ring, because uh, we don't have defense ring. The banner, uh, we're going to get probably crit damage for the banner, uh, and then accuracy for, I'm sorry, accuracy for the banner, but crit damage for the neck piece. Once we get those, it'll be, boom, subbed out. And you should easily get up to 190 plus speed once we get out, you know, all that stuff. So, Rosin, check, is now done. He's above, um, what's his name? We probably need a little bit more accuracy. I don't think we can get away with 86 accuracy uh, for the Nightmare Clan boss. So, we have to test it out and see if we can, like, switch around some of the stuff. Maybe he's got some gear that we can make. You know, for this uh, the set all the way down here. I didn't even check for the this set, the 40 accuracy, 5 speed, this one. So maybe we can sub out like this. But like we, we lose a lot of speed. So we need, we need to get a lot of speed. And we need good speed rolls on this stuff. Or we could do this. This might, this might work. 
I don't know. We got we got tested, but my goal here is to kind of set them up for the future. All right, so we're gonna get a lot more accuracy from that. We're actually gonna get a lot more accuracy from the banner. Um, so we'll be we'll be set because he's already sixty. We just need to get him ascended. All right, so once that's good, Rosin is now done. All right, so next up, we should go into the cleanser. Now the cleanser, we're just gonna go all out beast mode. We're gonna go her, and we're just gonna go fastest on the team with as much HP as we can on the team. All right, we don't need accuracy, we don't need any of that other stuff. So we're just gonna try and see what we can do with our Doom, Doom Priest, all right? And then we shall, we'll be back, we'll go over how we geared her, and then uh, and then we'll, we'll be back. All right, cool, so this was the tough one because Sepulcher Sentinel, I know the speeds of Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss, and we have to get her up to like 240 to 250 speed. Uh, this six star speed boots is awesome. Like the, I don't even know if I have six star lifesteal speed boots, but we got this could go up to 45. So that's another 26, 26 more speed. So we got her up to 180, 190 something. So I think that'll be enough to kind of two lap the nightmare clan boss. Uh, so we should be good there. This will increase her HP by a lot. Uh, this is already maxed out. Uh, this will increase her, her HP. Uh, we might even get some speed rolls there. And this will increase her defense. And this is it, eh, right? So again, we just need more accessories. <laughs> so once we get the accuracy accessories, plus the defensive uh, slash accuracy ring or neck piece, we should be good to go with this. All right, so this chick is basically set for now again once we get all this stuff up masteries we need them done uh and skills are already fully booked out so we're good there so we don't have to worry about that so she's done all right so now we got one rosin done skull crusher done uh now we need oh i'm sorry we did doom priest too we didn't even go over doom priest so doom priest we want her to be the fastest besides a uh, sepulcher sentinel so she's at 179 we can increase this uh two more so we can get her actually really high, but we don't want her to overlap the clan boss. We want her to be fastest on the team, but still not overlapping the clan boss. So we have one more room to go around. So she's uh, 179. Rosin is at <clears throat> 178. So she's still faster than Rosin, which is great. Uh, we need Sepulcher Sentinel to lap. So I think we're good. So we got one, two, three, four, right? Uh, her, her stats, we got up to 34,000 HP. This is going to be a lot higher once we max out the HP uh, here, HP here, and uh, get this obviously up and get this up. All right, so once all this is maxed out, maxed out her stats are going to be very, very good. And obviously once she gets a little 60, uh, even faster, right? So that'll be good. Like all this gear, you guys, once they're all 60 and they got the banners, it, it's not that hard, I'm, I'm noticing from this account to get up to 191 speed. Uh, as long as you have been farming, and I don't know how long Sir has been playing, but as long as you're farming the right gear and you're putting speed boots on your guys with some speed accessories, you're you're, you're set, you can do 191 speed, all right? So that's what we got there. Now the last part is completely up to him, all right? I really wanted to try her out, so we're gonna try and gear her, see if we can get Lifesteal, accuracy, whatever whatever we can on her, because we want her to heal. Uh, or he's already got her, which we stole the boots, so we can just put boots back on her, to do the poison damage, right? So it's up to him if he wants to keep her the way she is, just put speed boots back on her. Or test out this awesome super duper legendary that we have kind of just chilling here, Hellraiser type chick because of her pretty cool skills. Yeah, we're, we're gonna try We're gonna try and get her. Uh, and then we'll level her up to 60, hopefully. She's got some big... Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then that's, that should be it. And, and then that'll be the... And then we'll test it out. All right, so it's not, it's not gonna be good because uh, we don't have any masteries. We don't have any uh, <laughs> anything, but at least we'll see how it runs in the clan boss and I'll show you kind of what it does. All right, so let's let's get her geared up real quick and then we'll go into it. 
All right, so here's an example of what I usually do on my account when I'm first starting. The, the, the shop that you're really looking for is speed gear. So when a speed set pops up, that's a five star, and it's got pretty good stats. We got defensive, which can only be on the shield. You know, you can't get attack on the shield, so defense on the shield, uh, and then speed. I'm gonna buy this for this account because it's actually very, very good, even though it's 337,000 silver. So we can always farm silver back but it's very rare that you see a purchase like that in the shop. So that, that's, that's what I usually do. I buy the green shards, obviously the blue shards, um, and good stuff like that. So uh, we just finished up gearing our last champion. So let's check her out right here. Again, I, I'm curious to see how she does in the clan boss, like once she is uh, masteried out. Uh, but just run her a couple times just to see how much damage she's doing once you gear her up first. And then if she's doing, you know, decent damage or she's like maxing out your, your team, keep her in it. If not, I would just go back to her, Frozen Banshee, and just kind of keep her as your main DPSer for the poison. Alright, so that is the option right there. So let, let's let's look at what we did. We only had uh, four star boots for speed here. I'm not sure if we can get four star to make her a little bit faster speed boots all right so we have a white speed boot that if we need five more speed we can do it right there but i didn't want to kind of mess with it so she's exactly the same speed as uh skull crusher so once we get like a speed glyph just throw a speed glyph on her anywhere uh and then you should be faster than skull crusher if she's uh the same as skull crusher we'll, we'll see if she goes before him or after him if she's going after him we need to obviously boost up her speed but if she's going before him it's fine don't mess with it all right so we want her as much HP as possible. She's only level 50, but this is 78 accuracy to make sure that she's landing her uh, stuff. So she needs accuracy to land this, to land this, and to increase the debuff duration. So we went with the accuracy chest piece. Because, uh, you know, once we get accuracy banner and neck, we could probably switch this to an HP chest piece. But pretty good chest piece. Uh, then we have HP right here. These offsets kind of stink. That was the only HP glove we had. Uh, we wanted speed here. Uh, speed. You know, accuracy, defense. We got speed here. Really, it was just trying to get as much speed to make sure that we can hit the 170 mark. We did. So, these are the stats. We definitely need her more HP uh, and accuracy. But my goal of this whole account takeover was to set him up for success. All right. So, that's kind of what he did. He won the account takeover. So, if you guys aren't subscribed... Hit the subscribe button so that way we're doing another count takeover at 850 subscribers. Go check out that video. I'll link it in uh, the description below. What else did we do? Uh, we could probably put a HP ring, but he doesn't have one on her. Uh, HP neck piece and an HP or accuracy banner, probably accuracy banner, to make sure that she lands all that stuff. So let's go into it. I told you we were going to do it. Let's do it. So we got the crit boss, or not crit boss, the clan boss. We're going into nightmare battle. We're going to lead with her. We're going to go Rosin. This is going to be so bad, but we're going to show you the order that everybody's going to going to work. Uh, who else? They're all level 50s. <laughs> so let's go down to Doom Priest. Uh, her. And who we meant? Skull Crusher? Skull is 60. Right here. Alright. So the order will be her, Doom Priest, Rosin, her, and then hopefully Skull Crusher goes last. So let's see the tuning. What the hell happens. Alright. Rosin definitely is somebody that I would book out first before the other chick. So definitely put the legendary books into Rosin, not her first. Alright, so we're gonna throw this up. Rosin's gonna put up the decreased defense. Again, needs accuracy. This one uh, heals all allies by 15%, so we don't have to heal anybody yet. So we'll just throw this up. Nice, she landed it. And then we'll put up the counter attack. Now, why is she that slow? I probably have to upgrade her boots. That's why I didn't upgrade her boots. We shall be right back and upgrade her boots. Wow, would you look at that? So we get three keys. Uh, for collecting it a day 218 so you have plenty of time to mess around with this team once you get more silver we're at 196 silver not sure if we can actually level it up the boots 
uh, to what we're looking for. But how much more does she have to get? Not that much more. So we'll, we'll see what we can <laughs> max out with the boots here. And this goes up to 45 speed. So we we'll definitely have plenty of speed to, to get up. But for now, we just we just want it to hit well, twice. But it's not because we don't have enough silver. Oh, man. All right, so we weren't able to get the silver, but at least he knows exactly what to do. Uh, I'm just going to kind of run it so that way he knows what team to use and the rotation. All right, so first attack, then that. Again, he just needs more accuracy. Uh, she's going to do her A3 first. Wow, look at all those poisons. That is awesome. And then he's going to do his counterattack. She is going to go next round, which, you know, usually you want her to go first. <clears throat> we'll do a decrease attack. Didn't hit because her accuracy is not high enough. One, two, three. Nice rousing. And then she's going to do. Try and do that. Or she's going to do her A1. Try and extend it. She didn't extend any of them. Maybe the counter attack can extend some. I think it's only 30% chance to extend it. Let's see if she does it. Yeah, so she extended three random buffs, so that she extended three poisons, that was pretty cool. Now this one, we're gonna do the shield. Yeah, cause she's not fast enough, but we're gonna do the shield first. Uh, we'll try and get a decreased attack going. Didn't get it, but she healed, that's pretty cool. Stun was blocked. And then basically, I guess you just put this on auto. All right, so noticing we definitely need more accuracy on her because we need to land the decrease attack. All right, so here's your goal. So before you do any more PVP, congrats on getting the gold one, by the way. But before you do any more PVP, we need to level all these guys up to 60. And this could be not her, I would wait for her because we're still testing her out, but at least get her uh, five star ascended. So I think if you get her five star ascended, you can throw some. I mean, she's already got good accuracy, but you can get some um, accuracy on the neck piece. But at least get her to five star ascension. Once you get that, then you can start deciding if you're going to mastery her out or not. But I mean, look at this. This isn't going that bad. She she didn't extend it. But this is how the team goes. So basically, we're all speed tuned. Speed tuned's going good. Doom Priest is there to take off the take off the buffs. Even though she doesn't have life steal, she's healing herself enough every single turn. He needs to have War Master proc so that way he can heal himself all the way back up. Doom Priest strips off the stun. So even though the block buffs is not up, we still have Doom Priest in there to take off the stun. Let's see if she extends this. So she extended that actually. So she extended the increase or decrease attack by one. So she is a pretty cool champion. If she's got the right skill or right uh, gear, I think she'll do really well. Curious what this. So this is literally no masteries, <laughs> almost no books. Uh, gear is like all level eight. <laughs> but this is just this just shows that you can really go onto your account and again if you have these champions if you don't have a uh, skull crusher use like uh iron brago to increase your defense use another healer use somebody that can extend your life uh anybody that has a shared um uh shared damage whatever what's that called ally protect anybody that has an ally protect uh could help you know could could be in there but anybody that's going to extend the durations of the clan boss and then once you get a counterattack later on, then you'll be able to throw him in there and then be good to go do a lot more damage. So her thing procced and he, and he took zero damage. So her, I think it's her passive. Once per turn is a 50% chance or something to proc no damage. So Skull Crusher lived because of that, uh, that passive. Surprise, the, uh, the, in the decreased attack is still up because she keeps procking the increased de uh, debuffs. So that actually is pretty cool. 
How much damage do you have to do on Nightmare? Uh, 40? No, that's... Yeah, it might be 40. So Sir has a lot, a lot of work to do, but this is a... This is, this could be a Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss team uh, once it's fully level 60 and uh, get the masteries on it. But there you go, we did 3.4 million. Uh, she, well, okay, so look at that. She is, she's good. She could be very good uh, for you. It's just, do you want to bring her or make it easier because she's already booked out the uh, rare champion? That's a tough call. I think at this state, I don't know, it, it's a tough call because she heals, she does decrease attack, she extends the, the, the debuffs. Just get her to 50. I mean, get her get her to 60, but get her to 5 star ascension and test her out. I think I think you'll be good there. Or, yeah, yeah, try her out. Um, everybody else is good. Just just do what you gotta do. And then you should be, you should be good to go. I think that was cool. He was at like, he was on hard before I started and he was doing like three or four million on hard. So with Nightmare, you need 39 million. All right, so get this guy one, two key it easily. Cool. So what did we take away from today? Lifesteal set on everybody. Uh, that's probably the first start. Second start, speed boots on everybody. And make sure that you're paying attention to speed tune. If you go to Deadwood Jedi's uh, calculator uh, online, he tells you what the speeds are for each clan boss, you can even type in your, your guy. It's a lot of work, but you can type in you guys and, and, and whatever. Just know the speed. Like all we knew was 170 speed and we made an entire team based off that speed. Uh, everything else was kind of like what we had, but lifesteal with speed. We have lifesteal with HP. Uh, what else? We have lifesteal with defense. Um... She was just the healer, so she's just all HP and speed. And finally, this chick was just lifesteal. So this is definitely gonna survive a lot longer. Once you put uh, fully masteries, uh, the War Master is going to proc, and then that's gonna heal you up fully. You don't heal too much just based off of the damage, it's mainly the War Master proc. So having more crit rate is gonna help out with that, uh, but also, what should we call it, Rosin. He's up to 95% crit rate, so he's almost always going to be critting uh, in the clan boss. We're going to get the crit damage uh, neck piece, so that's going to be a lot of crit damage there, and he just needs accuracy. So getting that accuracy banner and accuracy neck piece, like subset, is going to be perfect for this guy. Uh, and then he should be good to go. Cool, so let me know what you guys think. Hopefully this helped you out. Again, this was mainly a setup to uh, his account, because he did win the account takeover. So that's going to be happening 850 subs. So whenever you guys are watching this, Go check out because we're probably doing do another count takeover. We do it through Discord, so join the Discord because that way you know who wins uh, and when we post the videos. Uh, if you want to hit the bell notification, I guess this is the first time we're asking for that, so that way you know when the videos are popping up. We got a lot planned for this account, uh, Dirtbag Nation. So let me know what you guys want to see next. I appreciate all you fellow Dirtbags, and uh, good luck with everything. And we'll see you in another video soon.